Hello, hello, it's Powell again with uh, a homework 522, chapter 5, exercise 22 from C Sharp 2012, how to program. And we are going to do some looping again, and we're going to write a C Sharp application that uses looping to display the following table of values. In other words, we got numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we'll do the multiples of 10, 100, and thousand. So we will number one will be one ten hundred thousand. Two will be two twenty two hundred two thousand. Three three hundred three 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 thirty three hundred three thousand and so forth. So it's basically a simple loop and some uh, some calculation. All right, let's do that. Let's start with uh, let's start with um, let me think quickly. I guess the let's create the the first row because this one is a static output. This one is not calculated. This one is simply a display in a tab in the for the for the table. So, uh, so it's a simple console that right line. And what do we write? We write the number tab. Let's make it a tab. Then. Uh, 10 times n, another tab, and um, 10, uh, 300 times n, and tab, 1000 times n, and tab, and uh, I'd actually know, 1000 times. 1000 is like 10, 100, and 1000 are the multiples. Let me show you what, what this does because uh, it may look a little cryptic. Uh, 3 line. Alright, so if you run that, all that we do is a line like this. This is the n for number. 10 times the number, 100 times the number, and 1,000 times the number. That's basically, it's this one. That's all. That's just an output for the for the first row. Now, we have to do the actual loop and calculation. So, 4, I do always integer i, equals, now we do 1. We don't start from 0. We start with uh, 1 because the first number will be 1. We don't do calculations with 0. Uh, i is less than uh, 6, because we start with, with 1, so it has to be, in order to do, get 5 numbers, it has to be less than 6. And uh, i plus plus. Okay, so, now what do we do? We need to write each row uh, separately. So, it's going to be the each row will contain the uh, okay zero. Oh, let's just do this zero and another tab because we have to match these tabs. Otherwise, it would be all off. It would it would look kind of messy. And then one tab two. Tab zero one two. This will be I. This will. Uh, I'll show you. <laughs> it's probably easier just to just to show you. Uh, three and tab. Now this placeholder will hold. The first one will hold I. The value of I. In other words, it will hold the number first one, two, three, four, and five. Which is this? One, two, three, four, and five. Now the first one is the multiple of ten, so it will be i times ten. The other the next one is multiple of uh, hundred, and the last one is multiple of thousand. If you look at the output that they want us to do. This is the i, first i is 1, second one is 2, 3, 4, and 5, 
and then the multiple of 10 over here. So i times 10, then multiple of 100, i times 100, and i times 1000. And when we run it, we'll get this. Look at that. Here's the table, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The multiple of 10 is 10, 100,000, 20, 200, 2,000, and so forth, 50, 500, and 5,000. See? That's all. That really all is all. All you have to do is I'll put the first row. That's the header. That's simply a display. It's not calculated or anything. This is uh, hard coded. The slash T is a tab. So there's a spacing between each of these, between n and 10 times n and 100 times n and 1000 times n. Now we go to the loop. We loop five times. So the first one equals i equals 1. So we'll do 1, 10, because 1 times 10 is 10, 1 times 100 is 100, 1 times 1000 is 1000. And we will output that, separated with tabs again, to match the spacing for the header. So they're kind of nice lined up in the columns. Let me go to the second one, i equals 2. So now we output i2. Now 2 times 10 is uh, 20. 2 times 100 is 200, 2 times 1000 is 2000, so we get the output like this, this row. Then we go to another row, i equals 3. So we get the i equals 3, then 30, because I ta 3 times 10 is 30, 3 times 100 is 300, and 3000. Then to the fourth, and finally the five, the loop ends, console pauses, and we can read the output. Simple like that. All right, hope it helps you. Uh, the looping is important, obviously. <laughs> it's a basic uh, programming construct. We, we need that, so you better get some grip on that. Uh, the formatting, you know, you don't, you don't have to do it, but it would be all like smushed together. I don't like that. I, I prefer some spacing. Or you could just do like, you know, space like that, manual. Uh, but you know why why to do that that way if you can simply tab it this way so like i said i hope it helps you and i'll see you next time take care